game. I went and did the research. GMO is reducing our fertility. GMO is, is doing it in all the other animals they tested on. They won't let, let human tests go on because they want to cover this up. All the big eugenicists that call for population reduction are the ones funding it, like Bill Gates buying into Monsanto. Question, when Obama took his position at the White House, an article came out indicating that he had insisted that his kitchen was organic. And it came out in the same article that so too did the Bush administration, that Laura Bush was emphatic that the would only serve organic, and of course organic means non-GMO. Now I talked to a former scientist from Monsanto and he said that he knew of three colleagues that did safety studies on Monsanto's bovine growth hormone, found so much of the IGF-1 hormone elevated in the milk and it's linked to cancer. These three Monsanto scientists refused to drink milk thereafter unless it was organic, one bought his own cow. I also report in Seeds of Deception how the head of the restaurant that's found inside the UK headquarters of Monsanto responded to a uh, request and said, we try to remove as many GMOs as possible because of requests by our customers. And of course, their customers are Monsanto employees. And someone told me just uh, this year that an insider had actually had lunch with Monsanto employees. I think it was in England off site and they took several people off site and he joked, well, we may, we, we have to be careful. We're getting uh, GMOs. And the guy turned to him very seriously and said, oh, don't worry. We get our food brought in specially. It's organic. So, by the way, the Jeff, Jeff, let me just back you up on that because I actually did a report on this two weeks ago. I didn't even know that, and I'd read your book. I must have forgotten it. But when I, I was told this by a listener, and I went and checked it, there was BBC, Associated Press, where all of the major Monsanto cafeterias, their engineers at the, at the actual facilities where they make the stuff, not their chemical plants and stuff, all refuse and demand no GMO be allowed. Then I found articles where the royal family do that, uh, headlines even in the LA Times and Asia Times where the Chinese communist elite have, quote, secret gardens and farms and are obsessed with only non gmo GMO. I found articles where the German government does it. I found articles were all over the world and where all of the environmental eugenicists that are pushing in this GMO on us, they're obsessed with it. And the Rockefellers have chefs, so does Prince Charles, and aircraft that follow them with the entire uh, certified, in many cases on their own farms, food that is then gourmet produced. I mean, th they are avoiding it like it's deadly poison. De and then we found out the German government doesn't take vaccines and has special vaccines for themselves. I mean, you're not, again, I'm backing you up. You're not just saying this. Please continue. Well, you know, one of the issues that you mentioned earlier is GMOs are not isolated. They cross-pollinate, they mix. Even the Roundup is now found in 60 to 100 percent of air, rain, and water samples in the Midwest. It's found in the urine of urban dwellers. It's found in cord blood, in human blood. It's found in surface water and in groundwater. So it's become omnipresent, like Monsanto's PCBs, their previous poison. And the GMOs are now, of course, impacting organic and other places by increasing the levels of contamination slowly. So uh, this begs the question, how stupid can these people be if their intention was to create a problem with GMOs because they'd be sawing off the branch that they're sitting on? because we all live in the same biosphere and there is no way to contain it. Now, one of the ways that we can fight back, Alex, is through required labeling. And there's a ballot initiative in California on the November ballot. It's actually, they're actually gathering petition signatures right now. So if any of your audience lives in California, they can join the effort, go to labelgmos.org and get a, get a um, training on how to fill out uh, petitions with your friends. So right now we have an unprecedented opportunity to pass a law in California that doesn't have to go through legislators that have been bought off by Monsanto. And if it gets passed, the food companies realize that 53% of Americans say they would avoid GMOs if labeled. So these companies would rather remove GMOs 
than admit that they use them. They've already removed GMOs in Europe because of a consumer tipping point against GMOs happened there. They've already removed largely most of the bovine growth hormone from their dairy cows because the consumers became aware of the cancer risk. So if they have to label GMOs, they will probably remove it. And there's been an upswell now of concern about GMOs. And one of the obvious things is to enforce labeling, which is now enforced in over 50 countries, but not the US or Canada. So I encourage the people who are listening to, who are in California to get involved. And for everyone else, get on our website at responsibletechnology.org and join the Tipping Point Network, which we can, which you've organized to do outreach, to bring this information to the entire population, particularly the most receptive demographics, parents of young kids, kids are most at risk. In fact, in April, we're gonna be launching our campaign to protect children against GMOs, which this film is being created for. We're reaching out to religious groups that believe that GMO really means God move over. We're reaching out to health conscious shoppers, to healthcare professionals. I gave a talk at Andrew Weil's Integrative Medicine Conference in May of last year, and I asked the eight or 900 healthcare practitioners to rate themselves from one to 100, how vigilant they have been at avoiding GMOs, and they, they did a, a show of hands as to how vigilant, and how active they've been at educating their patients to avoid GMOs. At the beginning of the 45 minute talk, the vigilance was kind of low. At the end of the 45 minute talk, nearly everyone was in the highest category of vigilance going forward, saying they were gonna avoid GMOs, they were gonna prescribe it to their patients, they gave us a standing ovation, they swamped the table for non-GMO shopping guides, which you can get at non-gmoshoppingguide.com or at the iPhone app store, Shop No GMO, it's a free download. So the, the healthcare professionals are realizing now in larger and larger numbers that GMOs are almost certainly implicated in the rising incidence of disease that they're seeing in their practice. And now they have something that they can do. They can recommend non-GMO products, organic products. And I've interviewed many healthcare practitioners that not only recommend it, but they report that their patients are getting better. And in my discussions with the patients, they are in fact getting better. Well, that's what we're getting, and I'm trying my best to keep my children away from this stuff. It, it, but, but the absolute total proof is that without even looking, I found more than 10 mainstream articles where the Chinese government, the German government, the, the UK government, the, the royalty, Bill and Melinda Gates, Rockefellers are all Al Gore obsessed with never eating GMO while they push it in our face all day. And it's very obvious what these super wicked people are doing. And folks, denial is going to get us all killed. I mean, the honeybees are dying. Planimal, uh, animals that eat this are getting sick. And, 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 and how many GMO crops they got coming out? Because I know there's a whole bunch of companies doing it. I know it's in the hundreds. But, I mean, I've read about uh, tea tree oil and uh, all these other systems and all these grasses. And, and, and so, and, and Gates is saying they're going to release mosquitoes that forcibly inoculate us. And, when, and, and he, he knows best. I mean, who's going to save us from these lunatics? I guess ourselves, but they know we're waking up, so now they're counter-strike.